Procreate 5 is really easy to use, so a lot of people think it's a great tool for editing simple brochureware websites. And while it is, it's a great framework for building much more complicated enterprise-level applications too. I'm going to show you a little bit about the user's permissions and registrations model, just to give you a sense as to how easy it is to build anything you want. Let's come over here to the dashboard, and we'll go into Users and Groups. And you can see here are the admins that we've already added to the site. But if I go into Login and Registration, I get a whole new set of options. I can turn registration on for the site, and I've got a number of choices as to how I want to let people be validated. Either they need to respond to an email, or I have to approve them, or I can just let anyone join. We like to leave CAPTCHA on here so people can't log in without at least first entering in some information that a human has to read. But you could also use OpenID to let people join your site automatically. Uh, and you can choose whether they need to have a user account name or they can log in with their email address. There's also a profiles model in Concrete 5, so let's go ahead and turn that on. And we will send people to their profile once they've registered. We'll save all these options. Another interesting aspect of Concrete 5's permissions model is you can create custom attributes for it. So let me explain what I mean. If I come in here to user attributes, you get a list of all the custom attributes that have been added to this site. And we'll just use the select type for this example. And we'll give it a handle. This has to um, not have spaces in it. What's your favorite color? And we can choose whether we want that displayed in the public profile and on the member list, whether we want to let people edit it, uh, whether it's required or not, and whether we want to show it on the registration form. Let's turn all of that on, and we'll give it some values. Add that attribute to the user profiles. So, now, if I sign out of the site, and I come to the login page, you'll see there's a little register here link that's been added. Now, if, if you're willing to get into PHP and HTML, you can customize the look of all of these pages and make them look however your site needs. But if I click register here, you can see here's a little registration page, and here's the custom attribute that I just added. So this can get pretty complex. You can build out really in-depth user profiles. You can have attributes that they don't have to fill out on registration, uh, but that they can fill out later on. Um, and you can really use this as a framework for building uh, an intranet, an extranet, a community site, uh, all sorts of cool stuff. But I want to go a step further and show you how you could let people buy their way into some content. I'm going to log back in as an admin. Oh, and since we added that attribute and I haven't answered it, it's going to ask me to pick a color since it's required. I like red. Here's my profile page. We changed where we wanted to redirect people when they logged in. Uh, and you can do all sorts of cool stuff from here. There's even a little avatar picker. Or I can use a webcam to uh, take a picture. A little scaling in there. There we go. That looks great. But at any rate, I wanted to show you how e-commerce integrates with this. Let's go over here to add functionality. And I've already connected my site to the community. There's another screencast on that. And I've associated an e-commerce license with it. So now I'm going to download e-commerce. I'm going to install it. And you'll see right over here, e-commerce shows up. And this e-commerce add-on has its own screencast. I'm not going to get into too much depth about it. Uh, in our example content, we're selling ducks, so that's what these guys are. But let's come over back to the users and groups area and add a few groups. And these are kind of just our editor and admin groups, but let's add some groups that we might want to let people buy their, their way into in order to get secured content. Silver members. Gold members. Oh, and you can even make people automatically expire from these groups if you'd like to have them only join for a year or a day or whatever. We're not going to get into that right now. 
All right, so now we have some new groups. I'm going to come back over to e-commerce. Add a new product. Gold membership. Join today to get great stuff. You see, here's all the options that you would expect out of the e-commerce add-on. And here's this cool section. Buying this product will place you in the following groups. Gold member. Oh, let's give it a price. Thousand bucks. This is gold after all. And we don't really need a page for this product. It's really something we're just going to kind of feature throughout the site. So, what are we going to do with this? Well, let's go back to the website. And let's add, right here to the sidebar, a product block linking to our gold membership. So here's the products. I'm going to select a product. Gold membership. And of course I'm just breezing through this. You would make icons and more, more meaningful content throughout all of this. Uh, but let's go ahead and include the Add to Cart button. And we'll add this to the page. And, oh, it's unavailable. I suppose I should probably update our inventory. Jump back and do that. Okay, so we will just cut right there. So now I can add this to cart. And there we go. Once I buy that, it'll put this user that I'm logged in as into the gold user group. And what can I do with that? Well, all I have to do is start making pages throughout the site private gold stuff. And I can put PDFs on here or additional content, whatever it is that um, I'm selling access to. Maybe there's a, a forum for just members only. And I can lock that down to specific permissions. We're in advanced permissions here, which there's some more screencasts about. But if I make that a gold members only and turn guests out, only gold members will be able to get in here. And yet from your home page, anyone can buy their way into the gold membership group. So you've just created a pretty powerful private community with e-commerce added. We didn't write a single line of code and it took us less than five minutes.